We also have not seen uh, much urgency in terms of the media to get its act together and how they question President Obama. I'll never forget a good colleague of mine, a good friend, Jake Tapper, who asked the president, uh, where have you been when uh, the president first rolled out uh, gun control? And I thought that was intemperate and impolite. And then we saw another bizarre question, again, from an ABC reporter. Jake Tapper, of course, is now at CNN, but his replacement at the White House, Jonathan Carl, asked one of the more bizarre questions. And I thought one of the more insulting questions that I've seen uh, from a White House press corps in some time. Here it was at the news conference. Mr. President, you are 100 days into your second term. Uh, On the gun bill, you put, it seems, everything into it to try to get it passed. Obviously, it didn't. Congress has ignored your efforts to try to get them to undo these sequester cuts. There was even a bill that you threatened to veto that got 92 Democrats in the House voting yes. So my question to you is, do you still have the juice to get the rest of your agenda through this Congress? Do you still have the juice? What are you talking about? That's inane. That's so stupid. Do you have the juice? Ask him a specific question. Ask him how exactly are you going to get this done, Mr. President? Do you have the juice? That's so, I mean, that's stupid. And, but even more stupid than that question and how I think insulting and demeaning it was to the entire process of news conferences was CNN, which then put up the headline when the president said, well, if you put it that way, Jonathan, maybe I should just pack up and go home. Golly, the CNN headline, Obama, colon, maybe I should pack up and go home. Hey, CNN, note, it's a joke. The president is joking. When President Kennedy was asked at a news conference in his, you know, during his administration, would you recommend the job to anybody else? And he laughingly said, no, I would not. I'm not sure I would recommend this job. The newspapers and the headlines didn't say Kennedy doesn't recommend one. They knew he was joking. And that is why so many people are laughing at CNN and sometimes laughing at ABC because these news organizations, the way they are approaching this is so undignified and so repugnant. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And if the people who cover the White House are supposed to be the best of the press corps, not the most cliche using, I, mean, I don't, I'm just, I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled as, as, as far as what has happened to the media, particularly those who are covering the White House. And thankfully, I'm not alone. Lawrence O'Donnell had a great segment this week on MSNBC pointing out just uh, how uh, ridiculous this whole situation has become. Hats off to Lawrence. I wish we could have somebody like Lawrence O'Donnell and Chris Matthews, maybe even Ra- Rachel Maddow. Put them in the first row at the White House and take out some of these clowns. Good grief. Coming up, we're going to talk about Jason Collins, the NBA basketball star who announced through Sports Illustrated this week that he is gay. It is a watershed moment. We will talk to our own Dave Zirin, the edge of sports, about uh, what the reaction was and how this story went down. You're listening and you're watching to Take Action News on WEAC Radio.